Hello and welcome back to another guide for Lamplighters League. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the class guides uh, for GNG. As always, I'm going to concisely go through the skills, then through consumables and equipment, later through the undrawn hand and cards that he needs, and finally we're going to revisit some gameplay footage. So let's get started right off the bat. Gianji is one of those characters that without anything in his chassis, uh, he starts out a bit uh, mediocre, but then becomes gradually more and more cool and more and more powerful as uh, time progresses so for him you really need to unlock a couple of the unlocks as well as the equipment in order to really get him going but he can be an ultra strong character once you do that so his passive ability is called flow and really what flow does is um, whenever he pistol attacks or self buffs himself he gets one or more charges of flow each stack of flow increases his crit chance in the melee uh, department and he always loses one stack of flow every round but he wants to keep kind of a high level of flow keep that in mind because that's going to be important for how to play him then his um, signature ability is steel tempest where uh, very similar to pornima's ability <coughs> he dashes uh, to a location and then uh, you can select the second location and he dashes to that location and all enemies along the way uh, take damage and it increases for each stack of flow that he does have there is a way of even resetting uh, that um, uh, ability so it is uh, one of those characters where you want to liberally use um, the steel tempest let's take a look at a couple of his uh, abilities his noticeable abilities so since flow is so important to uh, to Gianni's um, abilities I start with center as an ability self buff gives him three stacks of flow Gianni can have up to six um, stacks of flow which would be the maximum that he's uh, rocking with and if you can reduce the cooldown of uh, the self buff you can even self buff twice in the first round allowing him to reach that from the get-go and be an absolute machine there are a couple of other ways of gaining uh, flow one of it uh, is the flowing shot this is his basic ranged attack uh, giving one flow up uh, or another attack which is called lightning shift lightning shift is basically a ranged shot and then gianni uh, is relocating to that uh, location also grants one flow um, and has the disadvantage that it deals no extra damage on crits but doesn't trigger overwatch and later can um, if you go uh, deeper into it can even reset uh, his, his cooldown so really he has mobility built into the kit uh, plus a uh, three ways of gaining uh, flow and since he loses flow at the beginning of each of his turns it is important to have these mechanics in order to continue having a high amount of uh, flow center by large and far is the easiest way of gaining a lot of flow now what are we going to do with all of that flow we already looked at the uh, signature ability steel tempest where uh, flow increases the damage rapidly of that ability and therefore allows him to really really deal a lot of damage but that's not all uh, there is a passive ability um, uh, that allows him uh, to uh, to gain AP when he lands crits and uh, that is the bread and butter of his build remember that uh, when Gianyi we can see that under flow each sack of flow increases the melee crit chance by 10% so it's 60% at 6 flow and I can tell you he will be crit capped so it's 100% crit and 4 or 3 uh, the maximum passive ability allows him to 3 times around gain 1 AP when he lands a crit with any melee ability so that per definition when you do have full uh, flow will allow you to not only start with 2 AP but essentially start with up to 5 AP assuming that you can reach the targets and actually hit them with crits so mind you um, that tr triggers on any melee attacks so not on uh, the ranged shot attacks that's important distinction there so this is extremely important for Gianyi because he will need to use that ability in order to create more um, AP 
There are a couple of other passive abilities that I didn't go uh, through in detail. One allows him to gain flow when he's missed. He's not really a tank, so not that important. Uh, one allows ranged abilities uh, with a 33% chance to gain more flow. That's fine, but range abilities already create flow. And I think by now you've understood you want to center, uh, then maybe use uh, the lightning shift ability that in itself already creates four flow. And then you kind of start attacking and hoping uh, that you're landing crits in order to generate AP uh, that uh, that round. So that is how he uh, sustains himself with enough, um, say, AP from Furo. But there is more to him uh, that and more that he can benefit from. So for starters, Yanni very much benefits uh, from a couple of the other abilities, mainly from Danny Belford's upgrade. Um, melee critical hits will shred five armor that's great because uh, he will crit a lot and then melee attacks gain a 10 percent chance to grant one ap with a reactive uh, metallurgy uh, option there is no cap on that which with his many attacks specifically if he uses his signature ability will allow him uh, to gain even more um, AP. Keep in mind uh, that his Steel Tempest will allow him to hit sometimes five, four, uh, five, uh, six, seven enemies, and that will um, generate one AP because all of it counts as melee attacks. That also will generate furor, and he generally, once he gets going with six flow, will be uh, um, uh, running in in around uh, five to six maybe seven um, AP per round. So that's really the passives that he is scaling off with, but there is even more to it that can make him a good character. So let's take a look at his equipment and the other uh, things that he brings to the table. In terms of items, um, I am liking my uh, Dianyi with uh, Vigor Tonics, uh, which allows us to refill our signature ability. That's a very strong way of ga uh, gaining him more momentum. He already starts with uh, a charge in it, and with Vigor Tonic, you can uh, continue with that. He doesn't have a natural way of dealing with stress, so I like to run stress remedies, and he doesn't have the best way of healing himself. So all of that is really covered in his um, consumables um, if he needs to be self-sufficient. Uh, he very much pairs nicely with, enemy, uh, with allies that can heal him. Um, but I like a little bit more tanky Jianyi so that I need uh, to not babysit him throughout. And that's really why I'm running uh, armor on him. I got him body armor 3 even though it costs me a bit of speed. But his lightning dash makes that almost irrelevant because you can dash wherever you want. His signature ability allows him to be ultra mobile. So speed is not the biggest of his concerns. Plus if you run him with a skirmish talisman that gives one speed. That offsets uh, the armor very nicely, so he's still coming in at 7 speed, which is more than respectable. Has a lot of repositioning abilities, more weapon damage, more crit chance, which uh, this one here gets him to 100% crit. And with 20 armor, he's no pushover either. Jenny, therefore, will oftentimes only take like 20-30 points of damage, and with uh, so much health that he has, almost uh, topping 200, he's really becoming a tanky boy. One of uh, the options that you can run him with is the Mechanical Vembrance, which will reduce the cooldowns that he does have uh, further, and with cooldown reduction he can um, give himself flow. Um, that is very important. The other option that he can uh, run with is a trauma battery, potentially the better one, because melee attacks now have a 25% chance to also grant one AP. And that means trauma battery plus his innate ability um, Furor 3 that you see here, plus the ability um, uh, from the Danny Belford's upgrade tree, reactive metallurgy, um, all three together are uh, sources for him to gain more AP. Uh, he can easily, uh, therefore, with uh, the right equipment, uh, being in this case the trauma battery, go up to 6, 7, 8 AP all by himself and dealing just a lot of damage. And with hits of around 150 per pop, he very much deals a lot of damage. He has a base physical damage of 72, and then um, his crits are hitting hard. Now, 
He doesn't need any particular undrawn hand cards in order to be awesome, uh, but I built my Gianni around uh, the concept of being a buffer on top of what he's anyways doing. So let's take a look at how that works. I run him with Herald, which allows him to not only put Inspired onto all teammates, including himself, uh, for zero uh, AP, but it also dispels all debuffs. So that is a complete free ability. The only thing that I need to do is wait through the uh, three cooldowns. And with his uh, current Vembrance, that will not take a long time. Secondly, I am uh, using the Conjunction. Um, whenever he uses buff abilities, he also has a chance to regain one AP. 50%, uh, later it's 75 and 100%, and everybody who is buffed has a chance to um, also gain even more AP. So net net, that's just passive uh, whenever he buffs uh, with the Herald. Uh, on top of it, his flow is co um, considered a self buff. Also his ability to dodge, which I haven't even said yet, uh, the evade ability would be a self buff. So all of that can uh, generate an AP. So the conjunction is very strong with him. Then uh, as passive ability, I'm also using the companions. When using a buff ability, uh, he uh, reduces two stress from uh, the teammates and has a chance to have ability cooldowns um, reduced. And that is important because that will reduce his own ability cooldowns. And since he does have Herald as a buff, since he does have Evade as a buff, since he does have um, Self Center uh, as a buff, that in itself already is quite strong, right? So uh, you can see how this synergizes nicely with what he's doing. I wanted to build a Jian Yi who's not just focused on damage, 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 but who synergizes nicely creates a lot of damage, creates a lot of AP, but also has other things going for him, such as great armor, uh, great maneuverability, buffing potential um, for your own group, ability to generate more AP, ability to reduce cooldowns. So let's see how this build of Jianyi is going to play out in a real scenario. All right, we are looking at Jianyi's gameplay and we find ourselves in a tough spot. Uh, we got ambushed all around and just only thanks to Fadir, we were able to knock the enemies down for one round. But that calls for uh, Jianyi uh, to save the day. What we're going to we do is we are starting with um, buffing everyone. You can see that uh, not only do others gain speed, but Gianni himself, uh, thanks to the conjunction, gets more AP. We're then centering ourselves, continuing to get Continuing to get flow on this this time did not refund uh, the AP, but that's fine We got another potential uh, Herald charge for next round. We cannot charge Herald on top of Herald So although it refunds uh, the AP it will not generate additional one, but that's fine. So we're um, currently stuck at three Flow and we want to get a little bit more. What's an efficient way of doing that you ask? Well, thank you for asking the most efficient way of doing that is to effectively kill enemies um, that are already injured. So with just one hit uh, of our lightning strike, we did not only reposition, we got uh, one additional one for hitting uh, an enemy uh, that is crowd controlled, but we also got one for killing an enemy. That makes it a very, very efficient uh, uh, strike. And now, although we only have one AP, we are starting to clean up. Right, and thanks to his built-in kit, Furor, and a couple of other options, you will see that he regains uh, action points as we go, up to three from Furor and a couple more uh, from other sources. So depending on how uh, well we're doing, in this case, Reactive Metallurgy has also triggered, you can see that we're already up for yet another AP and we're continuing to go. So yet another strike, uh, that's three dead enemies right off the bat. We're continuing our high flow state and uh, we're seeing that we have overall killed four enemies, um, injured one deeply and with the last strike we're killing the fifth enemy. Oh my gosh, we are still going. Trauma battery for the win. Holy moly. Well, 
Uh, thankfully, uh, Gianni isn't overpowered once he gets going. So there is another uh, hit and the trauma battery continues to deliver. So that's one of uh, these no legendary one. situations where you just continue to hit and hit and hit. Um, we're even getting another lightning uh, strike to reposition ourselves. And we have killed not only one, two, three, four, five, six, buffed our own uh, team, but also damaged the seventh one. And we're very, very close to continuing our uh, our uh, carnage. So Gianni, if he has six stacks of flow, can absolutely demolish entire enemy teams. Keep that in mind uh, when you are building him with the right build. He does have a great, great chance uh, to just do these solo cleaning runs. I hope that was a good introduction to Jian Yi. If you like the build, if you like what you've seen, leave a comment and a like down uh, below. And let me know if you had similar experiences with him. And if there is anything that you think can be improved of the build, constructive criticism is welcome. Elsewise, we're seeing each other in hopefully one of our other class guides on the channel. Thanks a lot and have a good day. Bye bye.